much. Uh, I'm not going to say very much. I don't want to take up time, which uh, the, the people who are doing the pitches uh, clearly need, um, because that's what the, the, the reason we're here is to hear this. Uh, I also um, had the, the privilege of being a judge for this year's competition, and the standard of entries was uh, was quite amazing. Um, so I'd like to congratulate everybody um, who, who uh, entered the competition, and particularly those who have, who have got to the final today. excited when I saw the Emerging Technology Competition advertised on the uh, newsletter from the RSC um, because the RSC prizes and awards are very well recognised in academic areas of chemistry um, and I think it's really nice to see that um, the RSC is also recognising technology development and the work that's going on both in universities and in, in small companies for really developing chemistry into new technologies um, and I think we hear a lot about uh, new technologies in um, biotech sort of areas but it's nice to have a competition that focuses particularly on the chemistry in um, technology development. I think it's an excellent opportunity because um, since I came here with the talks I have been hearing it it's the beautiful ideas how they are presenting and the audience because they are like from the companies they are from the groups they are different from all different backgrounds. Let me begin by saying how much I appreciate that the work that the Royal Society of Chemistry does and this innovative competition, which as I understand it is your first emerging technologies competition, but it is not going to be your last, is a great example of what learned societies and professional bodies like the Royal Society of Chemistry contribute to the, to the ecosystem of, of British science. Mm -hmm.